Okay, the liberal responses to Fauci quitting are, oh goodness, delusional. Like delusional even for the Democrats. I always assume that Democrats are operating under a veil of delusion, but this is maybe worse than usual. A CNN reporter named Abby Phillip said this, Fauci is a giant in the world of public health, trusted by presidents of both parties for decades. But COVID-19 put him at the center of a highly politicized pandemic and exposed him and his family to violent threats. He leaves the government after 50 plus years of service. Oh, poor, poor Fauci. He's the victim in this whole thing. He's working a job that pays him more than the president of the United States for over half a century. He's committed this corruption, highly political. People don't love him. Ugh. This is CNN in a nutshell. This is why even with firing of Brian Stelter, they have a long way to go. They have a lot of work to do. This is not going to be a reputation restored by canning one, one lunatic that hosts a one-hour show on one day of the week, Abby Phillip. Expose him to his family to violent threats. Now, if, if he was threatened violently, that's bad. That's not good. But it's funny, CNN doesn't care about the pro-life pregnancy centers who are being firebombed and vandalized and their workers threatened with physical harm. No, no, they don't care about that. They just care about Dr. Fauci quitting. Then we have Ronald Klain, the White House chief of staff. He goes, I cannot think of a public servant who has done as much to save as many lives for as long a period as Dr. Tony Fauci. And he is a gem of a person. <laughs> Ah. That's just like gags me. It's so such a suck up. But why? Like, why are you sucking up at this point? Oh, why? Because Dr. Fauci helped you achieve your political agenda. Dr. Fauci's legacy, he wants us to think his legacy is this like savior, this virus fighting, infectious disease fighting savior. But truthfully, he his entire history, his entire legacy is being is is being wrong. That's even putting his corruption aside for a second. It's just being wrong. I can't think of I can't think of anything that he's been right about. He wasn't right about AIDS. He wasn't right about COVID. He wasn't right about monkeypox. He wasn't right about modeling how accurate or not it is and whether it should be relied on these models that predict how an infectious disease will spread and how many people will contract it and who will die and who's vulnerable to it. He wasn't correct about the infection fatality rate of COVID even even after we got data from that Carnival cruise ship that showed us what the infection fatality rate. Fauci is just wrong. He's actually very bad at his job. He's not, he's not just evil and corrupt. He's actually wrong. 